Okay, coming soon, Pi stuff. Yes, so the Raspberry Pi 5 um, was announced. It is not shipping yet. Some people have them because they are beta testers. However, uh, you know, we do not have any of these and stuff, but we did want to put stuff in the shop. You could sign up, and when we get some promise, we will have, you know, one for yeah. customer limit, and we will notify people as soon as we can. So the Raspberry Pi 5 computer available in 8 gig and 4 gig memory. There's a case that goes with it that has a small fan. There's a more intense uh, heating unit, uh, sorry, cooling unit, um, if you're using high computation, a real-time clock battery that you can use um, if you want to use the built-in RTC capability, a 5-amp, five 5-volt five power supply. Um, you don't need 5-volt, five 5-amp. Five you can get away with 3-amp to start, but if you're going to add, like, screens and cameras and hard drives and cellular modules, you'll get up to five amps. And so, uh, especially if you want to use a USB ports for a bunch of stuff. These are all coming soon and we're going to stick to, if you order it from Adafruit, that means we have it and we ship it. We're not doing back orders. They've been rebranded as pre-orders. That's a back order. Um, my suggestion, read the Raspberry Pi blog post carefully. They say the best way to get it is to be a subscriber to Hackspace and Magpi. That's who will get them first. Let's get an email first, and then you buy them from Pi Hut first. Everybody else, you got to wait until Raspberry Pi ships to those resellers, including us. So we're going to do first come, first serve once we have them in stock, of course, and you have to be two-factor authenticated, and we're not going to let people buy them and, you know, put them on eBay. Um, but if, you're, if, if you don't care about that, subscribe to Hackspace, get in line that way. That is definitely the first and best way, as per Raspberry Pi. That's right. Okay, next up. Okay, we also have some more screens, and these screens are actually starting to come into stock. So um, this may or may not be in stock by the time, uh, you know, because we just got them in today. We have, this is a 3.4 inch diagonal capacitive touch 40 by 40 display and a bar display. This one is uh, a slim, I think, 240 by 960 bar display very cool shape squares squares and bars so you're going to see us kind of putting these in the shop just to get the photos taken and then we'll probably do one big um show where we can yeah have every we're gonna have display of, yeah we have the and show the cool sushi conveyor thing we got videos star trek videos they were putting on these things this is a whole new product line for us it's under the qualia umbrella yeah we do check it out and the start of the show besides you lady our community our customers our entire team everything that makes data for go is the VCNL 4020. This is a uh, next generation uh, VCNL sensor. We've stocked the VCNL 4000 and the 4010, and I think the 4040. Well, the 4020 uh, has a really wide lux range. I think it goes up to like 16,000 lux. It also does proximity up to 200 millimeters. Um, so it's you know a very inexpensive proximity and lux sensor. Um, easy to use. It's I squared C. Uh, we have Arduino code. We'll have a Circuit Python uh, library coming soon. But we wanted to get this into the shop. Uh, I just thought I'd show yeah, you. you know, have a, a quick demo. Um, hold on, I have to reset from my previous demo. Okay, so we've got uh, this is just it over I squared C, and this it can go much much faster. It can go two hundred and fifty uh, frames. Um, so two hundred and fifty samples per second but i slowed it down so that the display wasn't too uh nutty and as it you know it's measuring ir bounce so as my finger gets closer uh the number goes up so it's good for like close measurements it's not like the time of flight sensors that are you know um designed for one to two or four meter distances this is for close distances you can see the ir led bounce there and for lux it's good for like i said up to uh sixteen thousand lux um, but yeah, this is just a prototype. It's not going to be green. I just happen to have a green one. Um, but the um, the black one is in stock uh, right now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a it's a nice little, you know, low level proximity and um, luck sensor. And it's a lot less expensive than time of flight for sure. And that's our new products. <laughs> new, 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 new,